how to use Trello beginner's guide tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with Trello and set up your own project or start managing your day-to-day -day tasks using Trello. So let's get into it. Now, it's very simple and easy to use Trello. It might seem a bit overwhelming to get started with a project management software, but don't worry, this tutorial is pretty much beginner friendly. You can learn everything you need about Trello as a beginner and how to get started and your own setup on Trello. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to click on sign up over here and you're just going to create your tre Trello account. So you're going to enter your email or you can continue with your Google, Microsoft or Apple account. Now, once you do that, this is going to be your basic dashboard. Now, over here on your dashboard, you can see on the top, you have your workspaces, you have recent, you have started items, templates and create. Now, on your left, you have your boards, templates, your homepage, and then you have your general workspace. So within the workspace, all of your workspace tables, members, settings, boards and all of that. So what is a workspace now? If I was to run a bit large business, I would create one workspace for that business. And then after I have created that workspace for the business, I would uh, create different boards within that workspace. So I could make one board for sales, one board for marketing, one board for idea generation, so on and so forth. So you could just to simplify this for the beginners, you could call a workspace a entire room and then within the room there could be partitions for separate groups and within those groups you have different tasks. So the tasks on Trello are known as notes as well or cards. So you can call them cards and cards are present in lists. So it's going to be a list of cards or a list of tasks that are going to be accomplished on different boards which are going to be separate teams you could say. Now to get started with creating your workspace, you're just going to click on create over here here and you can create a workspace using a template or a general workspace so we're just going to click on create workspace and i'm going to enter a name so i just want to do this as um, pet clinic or pet rescue and then i'm going to choose the workspace type so let's say i have a small business of a pet rescue and then i could add any description i want i'm just going to skip that now i can add different members so i'm just going to maybe add myself onto this workspace so you can add as many members as you want and i'll just click on invite to workspace and now this person this email has been invited now you can see over here this is my separate workspace now this is a private workspace only people that i invite can actually access this and view the data and information that is posted within this workspace now after that i'm going to start creating boards now boards are where actual work is going to be taking place so first off i'm just going to click on over here i'm going to close this up and you can see currently i have no board so i'm just going to click on create new board and you can get started with a template by clicking on start with a template but i'm going to start from scratch and show you guys how you're going to set up your own boards as well so i'm going to make this like a yellow board i'm going to make the board title as um current pets and i'm going to click on create within this board now this is the board within the workspace what i'm going to do is i'm going to add different lists so i'm going to add dogs cats reptiles anything like that so after that i can add cards now what i'm going to do is i'm gonna maybe i want to add the information about a entire pet dog or an, an entire rescue animal that we have so for that i would do um oreo german shepherd like so and once I add the name, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. And then this will give me like a larger description of the task. So I can add descriptions. I can add members. So a person that is assigned to this task, I can add labels. I can add checklists. So it could be for a detailed description. I can click on checklist and it could be adoption process. I'm going to add this checklist. I'm going to add if this dog is tagged vaccinated maybe if this dog needs to be after it is tagged and vaccinated maybe this dog needs to be cleaned maybe it needs to be um, put on adoption so these are like the tasks that i'm adding on to a specific dog so once this dog is, has been rescued i could like assign this to, to a certain member so i can assign this to myself and then i have to make sure this dog is first tagged and every time uh one of these uh, goals is accomplished i'm just going to tick it and then the adoption process bar is going to go up so this will help me in navigating how far along we really are in the actual task that is being performed so 
just like that i have added like a singular card or a task onto my board now this is just one board what i can do is if i go back onto my workspace over here this is my current pets board if i click on create new board and i can make this like a green board and i'm going to add the board title of adoption and then i can click on create so this is going to be within the same workspace so everyone that has access to the other board is going to have access to this one as well maybe i could add pets available deals and then i could add completed adoptions then i could add another list called maybe under review something like that so then you can add all of the pets that are available and then you can have like pets that are currently being dealt with or pets that are you know deals that are in process and then you can move them to completed adoptions and the way that you're going to do that is let's say i have a parrot i'm just going to add that as a sample maybe let's say this was a pet that was available uh then later on this is currently being dealt with so i can just click on it i can just drag it and then move it onto the deal section or the deals list once the deal has been completed i can move it on to completed adoption so this is how easy it is to create your own workspace on trello now this is just a singular workspace so i have this one workspace called pet rescue i can create a separate workspace so i have my own account workspace so this is going to be just my personal workspace and i can rename it as well but this is just like my own personal workspace from the account that i have created and i can create more workspaces as i go but for that you do have to upgrade on trello so if you click on trello premium you can upgrade and start a free trial as well but if you want to learn more about the trello plans you can just click on over here and you can see that trello has three basic versions the free version where you have access to up to 10 boards unlimited power-ups and automations the standard version which allows you to have unlimited boards checklists and 250 megabyte file attachments with custom fields and then the premium version which has unlimited automations board collections admin and security features csv data export table views timeline views dashboard views and priority support as well and if you were to take a look at the pricing the standard version starts at five dollars and then the premium version starts at ten dollars per person per month so this is going to be what each individual is going to have to pay and then you have the enterprise version which depends on the number of users it's totally going to be variable to the number of users that you have in your team but for 25 users it's going to cost you 1750 per user per month if you build these annually if you build these plans monthly you're gonna get a higher price and you are now able to create your own manage your own projects or businesses on trello or even your own day-to-day -day lives on trello so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.